Number 16. Number 16. Number 16. This is not the 16 we were looking for. Number 16. Apollo 16, fifth to land on the moon. And uh, they were land they landed in the lunar highlands. Kind of interesting. Finally got to see my little Lucy. Learned that she might be coming home tomorrow. And it's going to be nice. Uh, she's doing a lot better. And um, had some fun times at the hospital today. I learned that the police center is one of my son's favorite places. Here at Primary Children. <laughs> Dawson, I am your father, Luke. I learned that Lucy liked her present from New York. Hi, Hello Kitty, New York. Around Primary tree. Children's. <laughs> Asia's working it, working that sky. I'm working the sky. Yeah. Here with uh, Brittany and Asia, they're at Primary Children's. They have painted these beautiful walls. If you've ever walked through Primary Children's Hospital, they've the ones that painted the caterpillars and a few others. I actually featured them once. It's a oh, little picture, did? yeah. Asia wasn't there home. last year. Just, oh. no, just this year. My first year. And so. so, so how long have you guys been doing this? Or well, tell me a little bit about your process. Um, I've been painting most of my life. So murals is kind of a new thing for me, but I do very large scale paintings. And so I did my first project here. I actually did the treatment room right around the corner, mm -hmm. the jungle room. That was my first year. Last year I did. Uh, third floor AMSU and now I'm doing fourth floor AMSU. Wow, so, that, that's yeah. cool. And you also have, do a couple other things, like you do yeah. silversmithing? I Talk have about a studio that. in Sugar House. I'm just opening up on 2100 South and 1115 East uh -huh. and teach jewelry making, silversmithing, casting, cold connections, have three month workshops and two hour workshops and everything in between and do a oh, wedding ring workshop, which is fun. Oh, that's cool. Come make something for your sweetheart. Make your, make your sweetheart her, a, a ring or a wedding ring. That'd be cool. Yes. So uh, do you have a website? BrittanyGolden.com. BrittanyGolden.com. T-T-A-N-Y. T-T-A-N-Y. Yeah. Cool. So. Well, hey, it was a pleasure. Nice to meet you. This is only half of the collection of paint cans she's got up here to paint this. So I forgot to tell you about this new software that I already kind of knew about called Clip Exporter, but I learned that it can actually do a whole lot more than I thought it could do. So what it does basically It'll take a Final Cut 10 file and it'll basically make it, uh, you can put it into Nuke, into After Effects, or make QuickTime reference files out of it. Anyways, you can add handles and frames. And the cool thing that I learned, I already knew that it could do this, but the cool thing that I learned is that I'm doing a whole bunch of speed ramp shots in here and all that imports into After Effects just fine. So the nice thing about this is I can hurry and cut in Final Cut 10, which is a super fast cutter, and then I can do all my fine tuning and uh, graphics work in uh, After Effects. And so you can see that the speed ramps work just fine. Speeding up, see right there, slowed down, and I was able to track that text right in there for this TV intro. Uh, if you want to check out the TV intro, uh, it'll be coming out soon. It's called Outfitter's Guide. Anyways been working on this for a while and I just wanted to let anybody know if that could help anybody out. And Clip Exporter is a free, uh, well it's open source so it's a free download so check it out if you work in Final Cut 10. I cut fast in Final Cut 10 so I use it and this is going to be a huge resource for me and taking it into After Effects and uh, being able to modify even more. Well that's it for tonight. I didn't have much going on. I slept a good amount and I was able to see my family and it was great to see Lucy. It's a great life. Life is good.